Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. 2017 was a great year. We had lots of adventures. Me, my dog, my buddies, my wife. 2018 is going to be even better. So I hope you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and enjoy what you're about to see. Thank you. Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to Sturgis again this year. Thought I'd show you what I'm taking. Uh, I try to plan for hot and cold weather. So uh, let's just start off back here in the back. Rain suit. I carry this with me uh, on any trip anymore. Uh, it's a rain suit uh, with uh, from Harley Davidson. It is a uh, jacket plus the pants come up like bib, bib overalls. Always take this thing with me. And always make sure you grab the right one because I grabbed the wrong one last year. And uh, it was uh, not a year before last. And I got rained on and I pulled it out and it was my wife's. Did not fit too well, but I managed to get into it. So, rain suit, must have. You never know what it's going to do at Sturgis. It could be hot, it could be cold, it could be wet. And I always just throw in a pair of black rubber gloves because I found out leather don't keep out the water very much. And I can either put these over the leather gloves or if it's too late, I'll put them underneath it. At least it keeps, uh, keeps my hands dry. Uh, next thing I take, I'm going to take two pillows this year. I don't know if I'm going to take these two. Well, it looks like uh, my dog got a hold of that one, so that one probably won't go. But I'm going to take two because I need one for my knees. Most of you have been following me know, know about that. So I'm going to take this one and another pillow. This one will go between my knees, keep them from hurting. So then I got a sleeping bag. This is a giant sleeping bag, and it'll keep me warm uh, like 20 below. So uh, usually I'm just laying on it because if it's hot, you don't need it. But if it gets cold out there, rainy, it's kind of nice to cover up with it. So take a good sleeping bag. You'll see where I pack all this stuff up later. It all fits on the bike, believe it or not. Then I take my Coleman Air, Air uh, mattress. Now a lot of people have been, I've got reviews on all this stuff on my uh, YouTube channel here. A lot of people are going, uh, they suck. Well, this is the fourth year I've used this one. Knock on wood, wherever the wood is. I know there's wood here somewhere. Let's see, there's a piece right there. Knock on wood. It's still working good. So, I'm taking this. It's a little twin size. only costs 20 bucks or so. Now then, over here, you've seen the reviews on this tent. This is a good tent. I'll get it right up here where you can see it. That is a good tent, okay? It's not very big. Uh, I can put my uh, small air mattress in there and I have enough room to throw my gear beside it because I don't have to worry about this tent with uh, stuff hitting. Uh, usually on uh, most tents, you, you put something against the side of the tent and the water comes right down and goes right in your tent. So you can't have anything touching the outside of your tent. Not on that tent. It's a double tent. It's great. You can get rained on. I've never got wet in it. Okay, so that's going for sure. Now this may not, or may or may not. This is a four, uh, three-legged little stool. If I got room, I might throw it on there because it's going to be nice to sit down. But it may be so low that it, I may not be able to get on it anyway. In it. On it? In it? I may not be able to use it anyway. So that may not go. Gloves. I always take a pair of long, regular gloves, and I take a pair of shorty gloves. I have to, I have to have uh, gloves with pads in them because of my carpal tunnel. I always take a hat. As you can see by this one, it's, it's, uh, it's been around. Uh, I've worn that many times to Sturges. Now, the bunch of us that go, we all have a pump up mattresses. So this little uh, Coleman uh, air pump here will pump up everybody. So I usually carry this. They don't carry one. No reason for us all to be carrying one. These, never had to use it, never want to, but I always carry it. 
If you got it broke down in the middle of the night, or even in the daytime, alongside a busy road, throwing one of these over your leathers is not going to hurt. You want to be seen. Then naturally I have my night glasses. These are uh, yellow glasses. Uh, now that I've got the photo gray glasses, I don't use these very often, but if I needed them, I want them there. Because if it's raining, the water will get in here. They won't get around those. Naturally, I take a helmet. I used to take a small helmet. And then one day I'm getting belted in the face with rain and I'm going, why did I pack the small helmet? I only use it when it's raining. And a small little cap helmet ain't going to do no good in rain. So I always take the big one now. It's also got a mount for my GoPro. Uh, you've seen uh, the cameras I'm going to take. So, and I take a mister. You can get, the, get this at the uh, camping stores. These are pretty cool. I'll strap this on the back of the bike, pump it up good and pump tight, run this over my shoulder, then as I get it untangled, run this over my shoulder, clip it right here, then I just turn it on and off a little bit to give me a little coolness on my neck. That will, uh, once you cool your neck, you, you'll stay cooler when it's really hot out. I always carry a, I'll have a bunch of this stuff in my uh, uh, clothing bag, which my clothing bag is not here, there's no reason, it's just a bag, fits in my trunk. I don't take much in clothing. Clothing I take, I'll take an extra pair of Levi's, we're only going to be gone about a week. I'll take one extra pair of Levi's, I'll take uh, uh, a few shirts. I won't take enough for a clean one every day because you know you're going to be in Sturgis, you know you're going to be buying at least three shirts. So realistically, if you're going out for seven days, you take uh, three shirts, you're going to buy three there and you're wearing one, that's plenty. So three shirts is enough. But I take this uh, cough drops, mints, uh, in, case you, in case you get sick, uh, some cough syrup, I'll, I'll take this along with me for in case you get sick. Now these, you can pick these up in a lot of Harley shops, a lot you can. Now all that is, is uh, you've seen these on Survivor, a TV show. These go great, they go up over your face like so, or they go on your top of your head and they come down. I carry two so I can meet them together. Them are great if it's really hot or really cold. You can take those and then you soak them down as you're going down the road, because I have water on each side of my bike. I'll soak them down if it's 100 degrees, 110, soak them things down and it'll last for a few minutes to help cool you down. Now this here, it's called a uh, Mutnet. It's a towel, what it is. I don't know who the heck made it, but my buddy gave me this and this thing dries immediately. Matter of fact, I've got, I'll show you what it is. We've got plenty of film. I got a little one in here, a fiber one for like a washcloth. Then this big one is a different material. That thing, you, you take a shower, you uh, dry off, you hang this on your bike while you're packing, and lots of times by the time you got all your gear packed up, this thing will be dry. Uh, my friend Spanky, my traveling motorcycle buddy, got that for me. So that's going with me for sure. Then I take a stocking cap, you never know might need that. These are little cool wraps. You set these in the water, they swell all up. You tie these around your neck when it's hot. That'll uh, uh, cool you down too. I always carry it in a little plastic bag and I better check this and make sure there's no holes. So I can throw it, put some water in there and that's all it takes is water. And that will uh, swell up and keep you cool. Now this I've used a couple times. I like this better than the GPS I had on my bike. This is pretty cool. Uh, you set this right on your tank, like so, and it's magnetic, so it holds on your tank. You put your map right in here, and you can see right where you're going. Whether a GPS tells you how far you're going to the next thing, and you can't usually see it on the bike anyway, because of the glare. But I got this off the internet. This is called, this is by uh, another Bike Tech. This is pretty cool. It wasn't very much money, 20 bucks or less. That's cool. Now naturally, you got to have your fur. As you've seen in my videos, or you will see, if you haven't seen them, this sits up, see, my butt sits here, this goes up the back of the sleeping bag, and I got me a nice comfortable chair. 
Then this hooks onto the, the, the ties that holds all this gear on and it don't go nowhere. That's a must have in a hot day also. Even when it's raining a little bit, it ain't bad. But definitely for heat. Then we'll have my leather jacket right here. Uh, as you've seen, see, I've been there a few times. I don't know, guys. It's my 18th trip. I may not go again. This may be the last time. I've said that before, but I'm getting older and older. It's getting rougher and rougher. And, I, and, and, and riding out there, I mean, I don't want a trailer out there. Trailering out there, just, I mean, half the fun is getting there and getting back. Or more than half the fun. Because out there, just full of people, which I love. I love the bikes and the people. But I might, I'm thinking, I don't think I'm going next year. I might go 2020, just because. I think there's some of you guys out there who'd like to meet me, maybe, out there in 2020. I know there is, matter of fact. So, uh, think that I'm going to take the jacket. Uh, you've seen it in the videos. Uh, I don't have my shafts on here. Let me grab those. And these are my shafts. I made these. These are heavy-duty shafts. These ain't the little things you buy there at, at uh, uh, Harley Davidson or some of those aftermarket things. That's heavy. That's heavy leather. You can, and I get them for protection. I don't get them to look cool. So I, I mean, I got a cowhide. I cut this out, made it. Had another guy sew the zipper on. It's uh, as you can see, it's heavy-duty. Carries my knife, and it's got a belt buckle on it off of a horse. That sucker will hold that. It'll, it'll stick with you. Good, heavy duty. As you can see, I didn't even trim it. I left it rough like the cow had it. When it came off the cow, I didn't square nothing up. These are heavy duty. If I hit the ground with those, I can skid a little bit further than some of the shorts you guys wear. Okay, got a couple new things here. Let me show you this. Zoom in a bit. Well, I'll also be taking my hat. Can't go without my hat. We got two new things. Well, I'm going to take my pistol, which is a, what I took last year, but I'm only taking one pistol this year. Uh, I ended up carrying everybody else's anyway because I only I was the only one that had locking bags. Uh, and you can't carry you can't carry a pistol in Sturges and uh, uh, into the buildings. I know constitutionally you can, but if they put a sign up or tell you not to, you got to obey them. I am uh, licensed to carry this weapon. And I carry it all the time. But here's the new thing. This, they won't know, because this here is a knife. This is pretty cool. You can get these on, uh, on the internet. Forget the name of the place. Buckle something. But it's pretty simple. It sits right, it sits right in here. I don't know if I showed you all that, but that's, there we go. Little knife, legal. Because it's under the length, under the length here, of even California standards. <laughs> we know about California. Okay, and the thing is, nobody notices the belt. Notices, it's, they just think it's the belt buckle. They don't notice, notice that it's a knife. Well, that's it for right now. i got to put a pack all this stuff on this bike over here. And believe it or not, This stuff will fit on that bike. Matter of fact, I take more now when the wife goes. The wife's not going. She said she's tired of riding by, riding, uh, tired of camping in a tent. And she's not real keen on me and my new knees today, this, this year, of holding her up. Well, my answer to that was, hey, lose a couple pounds. Ah, boy, she loved that one. Hey, you guys, follow me. Let's have a good time at Sturges. Hope you guys enjoy it as half as much as I do. Or I will, because I know I will. So, thanks for viewing. Subscribe.
Hey, we'll see you when we get back. <laughs>